Docker is a software development platform that allows you to develop and deploy apps inside of a packaged virtual containerized environment. Well, what does that mean? Well, what Docker does is that it pretty much delivers software in packages. For example, a delivery driver delivers packages to your home. It can either be one package, if not two, or even more packages, depending on the amount of items you purchase, right? Now, will all of these packages contain the same thing? No. Not at all. All these packages will contain different items within them, right? Well, what else can we call these packages that are delivered to your home? We can also call them containers. Why? Because they contain things within them. These containers are extremely powerful simply because of what they do contain in them. And this is what Docker does. Docker delivers packages, containers that are isolated from one another. Then, Chris, what is so amazing about the container? I still don't get it. What makes them so powerful, Chris? Well, I'm glad you asked. A container can do things such as bundle software libraries and config files that pretty much communicate with one another through different channels. Well, let me give you three examples. Container A will have PG admin to help you communicate with your Postgres DB. While container B, container B's job is to host a Postgres database. And then let's just say container C could be used to run your open source software, everybody to help you with your ELT. What I'm trying to say is that you can have multiple containers running all at the same time in your machine that are also completely isolated from one another that will never conflict with another container. You can even have multiple Postgres databases running on a computer without ever actually installing Postgres into the computer itself. It will not conflict with any other containers running a Postgres database in your machine. What makes this amazing is the fact that apps can now run the same no matter where they are or what machine they're running on. Mac, Linux, Windows, you name it. Hold on, hold on Chris. What does this mean? Have you ever heard someone utter the words, well, it works on my machine, but not on another developer's machine? This happens because somewhere down the road, you might be on a different operating system, Mac, Windows, pushing to a Linux server, which alone can cause problems, or you're simply using a different tool set than another developer. In summary, your environments are not the same as another developer's environment. This is the problem that Docker solves. Giving developers the ability to run apps no matter what machine they're running on. Is that not amazing or is that not amazing? It's amazing. Now, another thing that Docker has is something called Docker image. With Docker, it builds something called a Docker image, which is like a snapshot of your container. For example, let's just say you go to Mount Everest, you want to take a picture of Mount Everest so you can post it on social media. You want people to see the exact image you saw with your cell phone. That image will contain everything you saw in that phone, right? But that is exactly what Docker does in a Docker image. But instead of capturing a picture, it's capturing all of your code within your project. This Docker image contains all of my code, my libraries, configs, and pretty much a complete application in this image. So this image contains all of my code from whatever project I'm working on. Imagine, now I can run my environment virtually anywhere. As long as Docker is on that machine, my container is going to run and my project is going to work. So you build your image once, you push it out, and now you could run it anywhere. Imagine you can even run your container in the cloud as if it was on your machine because the image between both containers will have 100% reproducibility. This is Docker in five minutes or less, I hope. Of course, there's so much more that Docker can do. If there's anything that missed that you want to add, please let us know in the comment section below. This is Chris Shaw, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.